He said, the advising responsibility and the enrollment responsibility are going to be two separate functions. Never shall they come back. Well, they did come back. But <laughs> at least under your leadership, that was like, thank you, Lord. That's the best thing that I have heard since I've been here. I also remember the day when I was in the hospital and um, I wasn't supposed to live. My surgeon said, people who are in your condition shouldn't, usually don't make it. But I guess God said, you're not ready for heaven, so you, you figure it out, kid. <laughs> and you came and visited me in the hospital. That's not a short trip. Um, and I have to thank God for 17 years, um, 26,000 miles a year, three hours round trip a day for 17 years, and only two minor accidents. Well, it wasn't, one car wasn't, wasn't minor, but I was fine. <laughs> but, uh, that's, I haven't done the math, but that's a lot of protection. Thank you, Lord. And with that, thank you for your leadership. And thank you for, for not sharing the times that I over-advocated. And, and I was called into Dr. Owen's office. <laughs> I, my HR file is like this. <laughs> but, um, and uh, Ashley, thank you so much. Um, Ashley is, is an amazing young woman. Her ability to organize attention to detail, um, her support of me because I was the new person on the admissions team. Uh, I, she just made working a joy because I was going into responsibilities that I hadn't really, didn't enjoy. <laughs> uh, but it was fun because she was such a wonderful young woman and, and so uh, supportive and encouraging. And she's really organized all this today. Mendy, I am always amazed at what, that woman has an IBM computer up there somewhere, because I've never seen anybody who could work and work through things. And when we had the re-registrations, Mendy would organize all, for every single student who, who had to know what their next um, period of courses was gonna be, she put that together for Sheila and I, and I, that meant a lot to us. And your, your kind and gentle leadership uh, was just, just a blessing. Um, so for, for all of you who have shared those kind words, uh, I'm not sure who that person was, but uh, thank, you for, thank you for seeing Sheila and I uh, in, in that perspective. And um, I love this lady, and uh, she lets me hug her on a daily basis almost. <laughs> I know you're all anxious. Back to that HR file. <laughs> <laughs> Lynette, Lynette, would you come up just for, yeah. Um, I wish I could recognize everybody who has meant so much to me. This has been an amazing place to work. I've loved my, my years here. And um, this woman has put up with me having to get up at 5.30 so I could get here at 8, uh, not get home until 6.37. ENC has been a huge part of my family's history. My dad was first generation ENC student here. He didn't get his degree here because he wanted a phys ed degree, so he came here for two years, transferred to Springfield College, and uh, got his phys ed degree there. I'm second generation ENC student. I have three amazing sons. Two of them are third generation ENC students. The other one is the black sheep of the family. <laughs> <laughs> Although maybe gray, because he did go to Olivet. Oh. Uh, and uh, he, didn't, he didn't care for it there, so he came back and went to a secular school. But he loves God. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have six amazing grandchildren, and I'm, I'm depending that some of them are going to be fourth generation ENCers. I, I am so encouraged about what's happening. Um, I want to appreciate our president, um, his leadership, his, his charisma, his people skills, his administrative skills. Uh, I'm in Easy, Dan. This isn't my event. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, I am so encouraged about the direction that our school is going to go. Brad, thank you so much. Short time together, but what a, what a blessing you have been and, um, and everybody else. Just... I, want, I do want to pick out one other person, Sam. When I was a student here, my senior year, I got to work for Prof Babcock on the grounds. And
And these grounds mean a lot to me. I really appreciate your stewardship you. of the Arboretum and what Prof Babcock did. Um, I promised my wife I wouldn't cry, so <laughs> I, I have to stop. I have to stop talking. Just know that I love you. You've been a blessing to me and my family, and uh, thank my wife for her, her support. Every every morning recently, as I'm pulling out of the driveway in the dark, she's standing there in the the 30 degree weather, waving to me until she can't see my car anymore, and saying, come back to me. <laughs> so, so I am. <laughs>